Hi, my name's Terry. My call sign, Golf 4, Papa Oscar Papa, G4 POP. This tutorial is a further confirmation tutorial to show how to do the upload and download to online logbooks, particularly EQSL and Logbook of the World. First of all, you must make sure you have your setup in the program configuration done correctly. You'll open up the program configuration, go to external services and select <coughs> the ones of your choice. So for instance we'll start with EQSL. You must have your username with EQSL inserted there and the EQSL password which you use to actually enter the EQSL website and also your QTH nickname. Now you will only find this by going to EQSL, opening your profile on EQSL. About halfway down you will see nickname. And it's exactly that nickname which must be put into that field. And it must be put in the correct capitals or lowercase letters. It is case sensitive so make sure you type it in properly. Also regarding the password it is not acceptable to have any special characters like ampersands or the at sign or commas or slash figures or brackets or anything like that, stars, crosses. It must all be letters and numbers. This is not us, this is uh, EQSL dictating. But make sure you've got all of your details thoroughly put in there. And uh, then if you want to automatically upload each time you have a QSO, and you log it, you check this box and it will automatically upload the, uh, the QSO for you without you doing anything at all. And similarly, um, you can update your QSO locator, the, their QSO locator, based on what is reported. Similarly with Logbook of the World, it's imperative that you get this information correct. So your username, your password, which you use to log into the Logbook of the World website, <coughs> the path to your trusted QSL software, which must be, uh, of course, downloaded from LOTW and installed with the correct certificates. And also a temporary path. We provide in the log 4 um folder a temporary path for this purposes, but you must uh, browse to it and locate it. And this one is also important, the station ID. I've got two, as you can see here. One is home, the other one is my old call. I'll just use home. <coughs> and with this one, because um, LOTW don't like repeated uploads, in the case of contests for instance, you might get uploads every few seconds, which overloads their server. We prefer they're uploaded on bulk. Uh, so <coughs> basically, we will upload any uh, QSOs that uh, you've logged at the end of your session when you close the program and you can then check this box here to have that happen automatically. Okay, So once having set up this for all of the different types of uploads and uh, downloads you wish to do, um, you can then proceed to do something. Uh, bear in mind that QRZ, Club Log, HRD Log and HamQTH do not provide a download facility, it's only an upload. So save and apply and then uh, you're ready to go. <coughs> now we need to go to the QSL manager and if you've watched the previous two confirmation videos you will know all about setting the uh, status of a sent um, confirmation to know or be questioned or whatever so I won't need to go through that with you again but <coughs> we're already set up so this time I'm going to do EQSL and we go select required that now finds all of the QSOs which are marked sent no as far as EQSL is concerned and you'll see there are 56 in this log that need uploading and once you've done that literally upload the selected QSOs, brings up this window, it says the count is 56 that you're going to upload, click the green button and it will upload them to EQSL. 
Similarly, <coughs> if you wish to download the EQSL, select EQSL in the box here and then click the download confirmations and in here give the last download dates you wish. If you're doing this for the first time I suggest a very early download date, probably the date of your license. But if it's a, a thing you're doing on a regular basis just leave this clicked and it will automatically put in here the date of the last upload. And uh, <coughs> if you wish to also download the EQSL QSL cards, the actual uh, JPEG images, click this box here. Bear in mind it does take a lot longer if you're downloading the cards, not just the confirmations. And again, click the download button, the green button, and it will download. We do exactly the same with Logbook of the World. Look for the world, select it here, click select it required. See we have QSOs here, all marked, sent has not been sent. There's a dozen of them, 12. And once they've been selected, click upload. Since the count is 12, click the green button and it will upload. Job done. And on the download sign, side, just select LOTW. Click the download button. Again, the same will supply from the last download that was done. And if you also wish to receive the credited QSLs, in other words, the paper QSLs, at some point in time, you were submitted to a card checker and they have been credited for uh, use to awards. Then, if you want to download those as well, click this box and uh, <coughs> then click the download button. Again, bear in mind if you are downloading all of your confirmations and the credited QSLs, it will take longer. So be patient. That's as simple as that. Just click the green button and the download will be done. And of course, as the downloads are done, the confirmations will be matched to each QSO in your logbook and uh, your logbook uh, QSOs will then be marked that uh, you've received confirmation and on the date which you received confirmation was received and uh, will be credited to your uh, DXCC vault. So that's the uh, simplicity of uploading and downloading with Log4OM version 2. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Watch out for more. Thank you for watching.